Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how this little thing here works. So let's get started. This is a temperature sensor module with a DS18B20 temperature sensor. This module is coming from the Arduino sensor kit. If you are interested in this module or in the entire kit, I will let you a link in the description below. Now let's analyze the PCB. The main component of this PCB is for sure this temperature sensor. Here we have a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and here a red LED. After this PCB analysis, I think it's time to have a look on what this module really offers. So here we are. First of all, let's talk about the supply voltage. This module can be supplied with 3.3 volts or 5 volts. So basically, we can use any microcontroller in order to do this. The communication to the microcontroller is done through a one wire bus system. Each device that is connected to this bus have a unique 64-bit serial code in order to identify it on the bus. With this serial code, we can directly communicate with the device that we want. The DS18B20 temperature sensor offers us a programmable resolution from 9 to 12 bit. With a 9 bit resolution, we will have temperature increments of 0.5 degrees. And with a 12 bit resolution, we will have increments of 0.0625 degrees. At last but not least, this sensor offers us a possibility to set an alarm function. And this is really awesome. So we can set an upper and lower limit. When those limits are reached, an alarm flag will automatically be set. For more details, I highly recommend you to check the datasheet of this sensor, link in the description. So now that we saw how this little sensor works and what we can do with it, there is only one thing left to do, the programming. But before we can program this module, we need to connect it to our microcontroller. For this, there is two different ways. The first one is to power the module through his data line. And the second one consists of powering it with an external supply. For this video, I will use the second way. The wiring will look like this. So let's wire it to the microcontroller. By the way, for this video, I will use an Arduino Uno. So first of all, let's connect the three wires to the module. The black wire is the signal one, the white is the supply voltage and the grey one is the ground. So we will connect the black wire to pin number 8, the white wire to 5 volt and the grey one to the ground. Now that we finished the wiring we can start the programming. To program the Arduino, I will use the Arduino IDE here. So I will go through each line of code and explain you each line so that you are not just able to use those line of codes, but also to understand the meaning behind them. So let's start the two lines on the top here. I use to include libraries. The first library that we are including are the Dallas temperature library and the second one, the one wire library here. To install and include those libraries, you can go to tools, manage libraries, 
and basically you can search for any uh, type of libraries here that you want to use. In our case it's the OneWire library. And here you can see that I have already installed it with the version 2.3.5. What you are going to do is select the version and click on the install button. Same thing for the Dallas library. Select the version and click on install. After this you can close the window, go to sketch, include library and normally they should appear here. Then you can click on uh, the library and the code structure will appear on top of your code. So I will delete it because I'm, I've already done it. Here I create a variable current temperature in which one I will store the temperature coming from the temperature sensor. In this line here I defined the one wire bus pin. As I told you earlier in the video I will use the pin number 8. Here I defined an instance of the library one wire and call it one wire bus. In this I defined the pin number of the bus. Here I defined an instance of the Dallas temperature library and named it temperature sensor. In this temperature sensor instance I put the address of the one wire bus. Here I define a variable from the type device address in which one I will store the sensor address. Here I defined a variable connected device number in which one I will store the number of devices that are connected to our bus. As I want to show you the temperature that I'm getting from this sensor, I will use the serial monitor to do this. So first of all, I will initialize this um, serial monitor with a both rate of 9600. Then I will print in the first line, welcome to Weltronics temperature sensor tutorial. With the begin function from the Dallas temperature library, we can start the bus so that the temperature sensor can communicate with our Arduino Uno. With the function get device count, we will actually get the number of devices that are connected to our bus and store this value in our variable connected device number. With the function get address, we will get the address of the first device that is connected and store this address in the variable temperature sensor address. So if we had more than just one device connected to our bus, then a force structure would be very good to get the address of all the devices. In my case, that I have only one device connected, I can do it like this. With the device address function, I can print the address of the sensor in the serial monitor. This print device address function is a custom function that I created. So let's have a closer look to this. It's actually this one here. So this method or function is actually just getting the, the address that is stored in our previous temperature sensor address variable and um, print those numbers that are stored in it in a hex format. In this line of code I will set the resolution that I want for my sensor with the function set resolution. If the settings of the function set resolution are correct it will return true. If they are not correct, it will return false. If it's true, the code will enter in this section here and print with the function getResolution the actually stored resolution that we choose earlier. And if this is false, 
if the set resolution function gives us a false then it will enter here and with the function get resolution we will automatically have a 9-bit resolution with this line here we will set the lower temperature limit to 20 degrees and with this line here we will set the higher temperature limit to 28 degrees and with those line of codes here we can actually print the lower limit and the higher limit value in the serial monitor in this line here with the function request temperature by address we are actually requesting from the device with this address here um, that we want the temperature from it with this line here um, we are actually saying with the function get temp c that we want the temperature in degrees from the device that have this address here and same thing with the degree with the temperature in fahrenheit with the function get temp f we will get the temperature in fahrenheit from the device with this address here and print it into the serial monitor here I will print the temperature alarm so earlier we defined the lower and upper alarm limit and if those limits are exceeded normally we should get a, an alarm flag and to visualize this alarm flag I will print it also to the in the serial monitor so to do this um, there is the function has alarm here um, and this function gives us actually the state of this flag from the device with the address here if we exceed those temperature limits that we fixed earlier then uh, the state of this flag will change and we will notice we will notice it on the serial monitor so now that we go through all this code we can upload it to our Arduino the uploading is done and now let's have a look on how this is visualized on the serial monitor so on the first line you can see welcome to Weltronics temperature sensor tutorial on the second line you can see the actually the address the serial code of this device this 64-bit uh, code um, then you have the resolution that we set to 12-bit the lower alarm limit 20 degrees and upper alarm limit that we set to 28 degrees so here are the temperatures in degrees and Fahrenheit and next to this we have the temperature alarm flag when the temperature limits are exceeded the alarm flag will switch his state from 0 to 1 so when I'm heating up the sensor you can notice an increasement of the temperature on the serial monitor and when the 28 degrees are reached the alarm flag is set to 1 and now when we are cooling the temperature sensor down you notice that the degrees the temperature is uh, going down and when this temperature is reached the uh, lower limit the alarm flag will automatically be switched on to the one state so i hope you enjoyed this video and could learn something about this ds18b20 sensor if you enjoyed it please don't forget to let a like to subscribe and if you have a question do not hesitate to let a comment i will answer you as quick as possible
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.